Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today, we'll be diving into the world of SSH, and more specifically, how to use PuTTY on Windows, Linux, and Mac. It's a free and open-source terminal emulator, serial console, and network file transfer application. It supports several network protocols, including SCP, SSH, Telnet, and so on. PuTTY is available for Linux, but many Linux distributions come with a built-in terminal and SSH client. If you want to install it on, say, Ubuntu, there is a video in the description on how to install it. For Mac OS users, PuTTY isn't the most common choice, but it's available for Mac OS. I will demonstrate how to use PuTTY on a Windows machine but the process is the same whether on Windows Linux or Mac plus the GUI of PuTTY is the same. I'm now on a Windows machine. To install PuTTY visit the official PuTTY download page. Choose the appropriate version for your system 32-bit or 64-bit. Download and run the installer. So I want to connect to my Contabo VPS machine. What I need is the IP address of the virtual machine and the username and password to connect to the server. The port the machine is using for SSH is also needed but in most cases, it is the default which is port 22. Let us now launch PuTTY and set up a connection. In the host name field, type in the IP address or host name of your server. Under port, enter the appropriate port number the default for SSH is 22. Click on open to connect to your machine via SSH. If this is your first time connecting to the server, you'll see a security alert. Click yes to continue. It will prompt you for a username and password, enter them. And voila, you're now connected to your server via SSH on Windows using PuTTY. You can now start managing your server via the command line. Regardless of your operating system, PuTTY offers a reliable way to connect to servers using various protocols. Remember to always keep your software updated for the best security. If you want to paste something in PuTTY just press the shift key and then the insert key or you can press the right button on your mouse. If you want to connect to your server without entering the username the next time you connect using PuTTY you can do this. Enter the username in front of the IP address plus the at symbol. One of the handy features of PuTTY is the ability to save your SSH connections for easy access in the future. Here's how to save a connection in PuTTY. In the saved sessions box, give your session a meaningful name. This could be anything that helps you recognize the connection in the future, like my web server or Ubuntu cloud server. Click the save button to the right of the saved sessions field. Your session settings are now saved under the name you provided. In the future, when you open PuTTY, you can simply click on the name of the saved session under Save Sessions. Click the Load button to populate the connection details. Once loaded, you can click Open to start the connection. As you can see now it is just asking for a password the username is already populated. Remember, for security reasons, avoid saving passwords even if PuTTY or any derivative software offers such an option. Always type your password manually when connecting to ensure it's not easily accessible if someone gets hold of your machine or PuTTY configuration. That's it for today. If you found this guide helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tutorials. Until next time.